plates of treats right now. And I was wondering what we can possibly do with these plates of leftover Grinches. What could we, what could we do with them? We could eat them. Okay, if we were going to eat them, how many would we need? Two, oh, two. hold on. Well, you'd only need, we'd only need one for all of us to eat it? No, no we'll have to add in another one, too. So, we, listen to my question. Are you telling me, then, that we need two for all the people in the class? No, how, how many, how many do we need for everybody in here to be able to have? I like what Najma's doing, and Samuel's trying to figure it out, too. Oh, now I see lots of people doing it. She's recounting them. She's 16. 16. What? 16. 16. But he has it 16, too. But really? there's 15 kids today. I thought there were two. One, two, three, four, five, six. 11, 13, 14, how many kids are there? Okay, so, so if we want one for everyone, how many do we need? If we, if we want one of these, one Grinch for each person, how many do we need? Natalia? Okay, how am I going to know if I have 15 of them? You can write them. You can write the number. Yeah, you can count them and tell you what, and you write the number. So what do you mean, write the number? I don't understand what you're telling me. You, to you, you have to count it, and yes. then you have to write the number down. Oh, as I count them? No, after when you count them. Okay, so let's see. You can't do both at once. So I'm, go so I'm going to do it here. One, two, three, four, no, five, six, no, seven, no, eight, no, nine, ten. No, no. You're one. Gonna Oh, what a good strategy. So let's see. Okay, so I'm going to move these carefully. And as I move them, I'm going to count them. But don't count too fast or we're going to lose track. One, two, three, four, five, uh, five. Now, hold on. I have 14 so far. How many more do I need? One more. Why? Because you said you needed 15 and yeah, 14 is less than 15. It's just one um, less of 15. Okay, so now I'm going to put 15. But, hmm, I have a whole plate left. Huh. Maybe. What should I, what should I do? Well, Natalia? You should tell But do we have enough for everybody to have two? How many more would we need if everyone was going to get two of them? How many more? Oh, we could just give them to other classes. We could, but how many more would I need if we were going to give everyone two? Fifteen more. Okay, so let's see if we have fifteen more. One. One. Well, oh, we're still at four, so be careful. Five. Uh, hold on, I'm going to stop at four. And I'm going to be waiting for a couple people because I want to make sure they're counting with us. So we're at four, so this is? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, nine, I haven't gotten ten yet. How many did I have? Fifteen. That means how many does everybody get? Two. If I have fifteen on one plane and fifteen on another, how many does everyone get? Two. Two. So 
Jean, how many does everybody get? How do you know that everyone gets two? Ricardo, how do you know? Because cause 15 and 15, we, there's 15 kids, and there's 15 and 15 of those. So hold on, if there's 15 on one plate and 15 on another, anyone know how many we have all together? No. Shh. Does anyone know how many we have all together? How are we getting all these numbers? Someone said 17, someone said 25. Well, I look how, the can you show me how you looked? Mm -hmm. So we had 15 and 15 more. I looked up here and then this one. Okay, now hold on a minute. You looked at 15, right? And then he went to the one underneath. From 15 to 25, how many are there in between? Like up here, how many between 15 and 25? 15 plus 1 makes 25? No, two more. 15 plus 2 makes 25? No. But that's what, you're tell that's what you're telling me. So instead of you showing numbers, turn and let's think about this. If I'm at 15, and I want to get to 25, how many numbers do I go until I get to 25? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there's only ten, but how many more did we have? We didn't have ten more on a plate, how many did we have? We had 15 more, so there's 10 to here, which means how many more do I have to count on to get to 15? 10 plus what makes 15? Um, 15 more. I need to count 15 more? So I need to no. go one, two. Um, five more. How do you know? Because um, 10 is a, a higher number and 5 is a lower number. But how do you know that 10 and 5 makes 15? And tell me, how do you know? Jean? How do I know that 10 and 5 more makes 15? Sarah, how did you know that 10 and 5 more makes 15? Because when you're in the 100 class, that's where I think that it is. Oh, so you saw 10, and then you saw 5 more, and you got to what number? 15. So in this case, you went 10 down, and if we go 5 more across, what number will we get to? 15. If I go here and I go 5 more across, I'm going to get to 15. 30. So 15 and 15 makes what number? 30. We could count, and you know what? We could count from here too. We could go 15, and we could count on 15. One, and what number do I get to? So everyone is going to get two. Now the only problem is, since we have done this activity, what did we do to start off our activity? Before we touch any of the food, what did you do? We washed our hands. Okay. And then once you washed your hands, what did I tell you not to do? Touch yourself. Right. But what have people been doing since they've washed their hands and made the treat? Touch, your, touch the stuff so we have to wash our hands now. Why do we have to do that? Because people, um, when they would not wash their hands, they were touching Right, and so we don't, we don't want a bunch of germs. So if you're planning on getting some, you need to make sure your hands are well washed. And you need to as well. Mine were dry already. Yeah, they're dry, but they're dirty again because you've been touching yourself since you've washed and your hands. And you've been chewing your shirt. And